A weight is suspended from a spring and is moving up and down in a simple harmonic motion. At start, the weight is pushed up by 5 cm above the resting position and then released. After 8 seconds, the weight reaches again to its highest position, find the equation of the motion, and locate the weight with respect to the resting position after 45 seconds since it was released. So this problem actually ask for a circular function. A circular function is applicable to those with simple harmonic motion. Um, in this problem, the first thing we need to do is to understand the problem because if we do not understand the problem, we cannot answer it. Next is, as much as possible, it would be easier if you're going to illustrate the problem. So in this problem, a weight is suspended from a spring. So there's a spring. So in, let us draw an example of a spring. And then there's a weight suspended at the end of the spring. And the spring goes up and down. So as you move the spring, it will prov uh, it would make a simple harmonic motion. So it goes up and down. And if you're going to graph that in respect to the time and the distance, it it distance that it travel in respect to the resting possession position rather it would make a simple harmonic motion. The graph would be look like sine or cosine just like this. So um, at start the weight is pushed up by 5 cm above the resting position. So this is the resting position. What is the resting position? It's the position with, wherein you did not uh, move the spring or you did not put force in it apply force on it so that's the resting position so the resting position is this one so if we're going to um to um represent that as zero in terms of the y the y is the distance the way travel so if it goes up so that's the, the distance and this would be for the time Next is, at first, the weight is pushed up by 5 cm. So to make the spring move, what he did is he pushed the spring up by 5 cm. So if this is 5 cm, so it's 5 cm. Next, um, if he released it after, so the, the spring moved up and down. After 8 seconds, the weight reaches again to its highest position. So the highest position it could reach is 5 cm. So if after 8 seconds, so... This is the time, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, so after 8 seconds, so this is 8, this is 6, 4, 2. So after 8 seconds, it reaches again 5 centimeter as the highest position. So as it goes up and down, so this is the graph that it will have. So. So this is the illustration of the graph of the motion of the the spring with or of this motion of the weight in the spring. So find the equation of the motion, locate the weight with respect to the resting position after 45 seconds since it was released. So this is our graph. So as you can see, this is more or less sine or cosine function, the graph of sine and cosine function. So if we're going to compare it, the next thing we're going to do is to compare it with the graph of sine and cosine. So if this the if this is the graph that's cosine, if this is the graph, this is for sine. So why do you need to do this one? So that it would be easier. You could use actually you could use cosine for this one. You could use also sine. But it would be a lot easier if you're going to choose which is the most um similar to which is more similar to the graph that you are solving. So in this one we're going to compare it saan ba siya mas magkatulad mas magkatulad ito ba? or ito. So as we could compare, dito nag-start siya dito sa taas. Instead, dito siya nag-start sa origin. Dito siya nag-start sa taas ng origin. So, or the positive sa positive side of the y-axis. So, in this one, if you're going to compare this, so mas, um, com mas similar siya sa cosine rather than sa sine. So, then mas similar siya sa cosine. So, we're going to the, the function that we're going to have is cosine instead of sine. So after that, this is the formula or a 
cosine b t minus c plus d so what is a a is the amplitude how high it is or how low it is from the resting position to the uh, the highest part of the curve or uh, you could have this one the absolute value it would be 5 in this graph that's so that's a letter b is how it's the period it's connect in connection with the period so letter c is in connection with it's the horizontal horizontal shift so example if this is our graph this is the original sign the graph is sign if this is our graph so the the here it moved the shift moved to in this one if this is pi so instead of zero siya nag start sa pi siya nag start or instead of dito siya mag mag dapat sa zero siya dadaan dito siya dumaan so the shift there is negative pi because it's going to the left but if it is going to the right ano ba kung dito siya nag start this is pi so ang shift niya is is pi positive pi the horizontal shift is positive pi and pi would be c c would be pi and and if letter d d is for the horizontal at the vertical shift c is horizontal pag move niya sa left and right if it moves down or up that's for d example this one instead na dito siya nag start diba dito dapat mag start dito siya nag start sa origin so kapag bumaba siya ng 3 so d is equal to negative 3 ang pagbaba at pagtaakyat ng graph then ba kung nag umakyat na naman siya ng 1 umakyat siya ng 1 ibig sabihin kapag ang, ang pagakyat niya is 1 so that's positive 1 so nag shift siya ng 1 step or 1 unit dito nag shift siya ng 3 na, 3 step below so that's negative 3 so however if we're going to compare our graph walang shift na nangyari kasi hindi siya umakyat Hindi rin siya bumaba. Dito siya nag-start. Dito rin siya nag-start. Alam ba, pero kung dito siya nag-start sa 2, ibig sabihin there's a horizontal shift. Kapag nag-start siya dito sa baba, baba siya, ibig sabihin may vertical shift. Pero dito siya nag-start above the y-axis. Dumaan siya dito sa resting position. So there's no letter C and there's no letter D. So what is A? The A is the amplitude. Ano, gano'n ba kataas? Or what's the distance between the resting position hanggang sa highest part of the curve so the distance is 5 kasi nga dito ang resting position tapos ang taas na is 5 so therefore a is equal to 5 next we're going to solve for b so we're going to solve for b to solve for b this is what you're going to do one period is equal to 2 pi over absolute value of v of B rather so one period what is one period example if you start with the highest position how long will it take or for, for it to reach again its highest position so in this one it's given that eight seconds uh, the eight seconds the weight reaches again to its highest position so how long will it take to reach again the highest position that's the the period so 2 pi this always 2 pi over b is equal to 8. So 2 pi over b is equal to 8. Alam if you start in here sa 2, so how long again na babalik siya dito? Ang galing sa taas pa pa ba? So dito siya. So it's also 8. So to solve this, cross multiply 2 pi, kundi na yung absolute value 8b. Divide both sides by, times mo dito, times divide both sides by 8. So b is equal to uh, 2 pi over 8 or in simple form and simply as form that's pi over 4 divide both sides or divide the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor which is 2 so divide by 2 divide by 2 naging 4 so this is a this is b so letter c we know again walang movement pa one shift uh, horizontal so that's uh, c is equal to zero it's so, the wala ring movement upward or downward so there's no shift upward or downward so d is equal to zero so you could simply write this itong formula neto is a cosine b 
T kasi z- zero to zero rin to. So therefore, we could, we could simplify this as this one. So Y is equal to substitute A. Ang A natin si 5. Cosine B natin is si pi over 4 over or times T. So this is the equation of the motion. Next, we're going to solve now for the resting, the, the location of the weight with respect to the resting position after 45 seconds. So after 45 seconds, so therefore, ang T natin or time is 45. So kapag 45, dito sa 45, saan kaya yung dulo ng, or where is the graph? Or where is the weight? So we're going to use the formula we have solved 5 five cosine pi over 4 t which is t so let's start with t next is 5 cosine pi over 4 times 45 so to solve this we need calculator or you can solve this manually but it would be a lot easier if you have calculator so pi in here Again, if you're going to solve for cosine pi over 4, you're not going to solve for, you're go not going to write pi. Instead, you're just going to substitute it by 180. So, dito, ang una mong munang isolve, itong, itong nasa gitna ng bracket. So, 5 cosine, so, pi, pi times 45, it times 45. So, 180 times 1, so 45, divide mo by... So that's cosine 200, 2025. So cosine 2025, that's simple as this one. So then directly multiply it by 5. That's the answer. So the answer is negative 3.5355. So this is the, sec the distance of the weight. So the big sabihin at 45, and dito siya sa baba. So, that's negative 3.53. So, at 45, dito siya sa baba yung weight. So, that's how you're going to solve for problems involving circular functions. Thank you.